Well, this is it. Uh, this is the uh, surveillance and the loner um, from Cherryville that uh, fish that for us. That's right. They uh, call it Big Brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sex lesson audio tape. <laughs> uh, hopefully, you want to keep your relationship underground much longer. So, looks expensive. What's what? Well, uh, Antonio plans a recording device that's voice activated. So, when anybody comes within vocal range, it'll just turn on and you can hear. You know, I wish I uh, hadn't had to. Uh, planned it on a serving tray, but it was the only way I was going to make it up the stairs. I just hope that uh, Ramsey brings it here, whoever he's got stashed up there. Do we have any theories on who's up there? Just that uh, it's a woman. Yeah, the rest she's going to have to tell us herself. So that'll be three cheeseburgers, three orders of fries. Yeah, and can you make that still, please? Yeah, it'll be ready in just a minute. Thank you. Okay, thanks. We're gonna go to the park. We're gonna get you some popcorn. We can go on the swing. Is that your baby? Oh, um, no, that's, that's your little brother. Oh, I should have known by what you were saying. Mm -hmm. What? Why? Well, no mother would order a cheeseburger and fries for a child that age and popcorn? No way. I mean, not a good mother anyway. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. What's up? Well, not you, obviously. What? What week? Boy, who? It's just keep on coming. First, I lost my father. Then I lost my wife. Oh, I've, I've been meaning to uh, stop by since the wedding. Uh, it's just everything's got a little crazy after uh, the accident. Yeah, I know. It must have been so scary for you and Michael finding Sam in Todd's car. Yeah, it was, but he's okay, and Blair's got custody of him now. Blair and I, we have our issues. She's going to take good care of him. I really believe that. Anyway, you must be here for this. You must be dying to get it. <laughs> Um, but she, I, I didn't come for the guest book, I, I came to say goodbye. food and the diaper bag. And, and if my girlfriend was the mom, the kid would be lucky. She'd be great. At her age? No, Please. Some people our age do have kids, you know. Yeah, stupid people. Well, excuse me? Okay, cool. <sighs> my sister lives in Brooklyn, and she says the high school in her neighborhood has a daycare center. That's just like telling kids, go ahead, screw around. Someone else will take care of the kid. And that pop star's little sister, like, she's going to be responsible. Okay, you know what? All you really need to raise a kid is love. Shows how much you know. A friend of mine is 53 years old and she's raising her grandchild. Her 18-year-old failed on the experience. Not all people our age are like that. Try having a baby and then get back to me. Do you have kids? Two. Best things that ever happened to me. But I waited until I found a man that I was sure I could spend the rest of my life with. And until I went to college and traveled and, and had a career. You know what? I think if two people are in it together, it doesn't matter what age they are, they can take good care of the kid. Well, like I said, try it. Call me in a year. Okay, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't listen to her. She's just one of those really weird women who think they know everything. I think she's right. 
You look so serious. Not like someone who's about to go on a fabulous honeymoon. Because I'm not. I'm going to Paris for a few months. Oh. And I'm going alone. Alone? But you and Rex just got separated. Sort of. What? I know, it's a shock. But here it is. Rex and I are, um, we're taking a break from each other. Is it because of what Gigi did at the wedding? Well, that didn't help. But this wasn't Gigi's fault. It was mine. I was so afraid that Gigi was going to ruin what I had with Rex that I ruined it myself. I became somebody I don't like. No, I, I don't know what you mean. I did things that I shouldn't have. Like what? Well, the worst is that I lied to Rex. And that might have cost me my marriage. No, I do not apologize. Please. Especially because I have treated you like crap the last few months. You were stressed No, out. I was a total bitch, and we both know it. You're one of Rex's oldest friends, and I wouldn't even let you be a part of our wedding party. I made you some kind of hostess in charge of a stupid book that doesn't even keeping. Can you maybe tell me why you did it? Because you were Gigi's friend. So I don't want you to be mine anymore. I am officially wiped out. <laughs> I've never made a left hand lay it before. Hey, just remember, it's an outside, inside, inside up. up. Right, and keep practicing with that left hand. I'm going to go do that right now. Stay where I can see you. I think he's got a shot at the NBA. His dad is 5'10 on a good day, and my side's not exactly serving up the tall jeans either. So he'll play point guard. <laughs> Look, I appreciate you playing with him, but please don't fill his head with impossible dreams, okay? Nothing's impossible. Look at me, I came back from the dead. Right. I know it's been tough for you, but you've done a heck of a job with Shane. And that kid adores you. I wonder how much he'll adore me when he finds out I've been lying to him his whole life. You're still worried Adriana's gonna tell Rex he's Shane's dad. But Nivy, she still hates my guts. More now, after my little performance at her wedding. She would love to turn my life upside down. If Adriana was gonna drop the kid bomb, she'd have done it. And Rex would have come knocking on your door by now. But he hasn't, has he? He's on his honeymoon. I think maybe. Deep down, you want that secret to come out. Thanks, Mr. Know-it-all. It doesn't take a genius to see that you hate lying to your kid. And it doesn't take one to see that he's crazy about you, either. Did you see that? That crossover move I made at the end? It's like I told your mom, I think you got real point guard potential. I was thinking, now that Dad's here, shouldn't I be using his last name? What do you mean, losing your wife? Adriana's leaving for Paris. Without you? We're taking a break. You just got married. This isn't the old days anymore, Roxy. Marriages aren't traditional anymore. People have all kinds of arrangements. Hey, Rex, stop the crazy oh, no. stuff. Like, like, did you guys realize that there are people out there who enjoy being lied to and humiliated? Maybe you guys thought I was into that. I wanted to tell you everything the other night. Sure you did. I was trying to tell you when you got the call about Adriana's accident. Oh, bad timing, was it? Rex, I'm so sorry. Sorry! Rex, Rex, stop it, not here. Oh, oh, what should, what should I do? Should I get into the roadies? Knock back a couple old fashions like you guys would do? Rex. Oh, but lucky me! See, I didn't inherit your disease. You're not my real father. So I guess I'm just... Half alcoholic, it must be recessive. Rick, stop it. Oh, what? This isn't like you saying stuff like this. this. You don't know what I'm like! Look, I've known you all of your life. You pawned me off your whole life. You shut your mouth! Oh, you don't, you don't tell me to shut up. You just tell me one thing. Why did you make up this fantasy about him being my dad? Why did you do this to me? 
Did you rather have a chance to look at those medical records you copied from Ramsey Lawrence? Mark's guess was that she was in a, an accident in a bad one. What if it's just, like, Ramsey's mother out there, really sick or injured? Well, then what's the big secret? Okay, well, what if the records have nothing to do with anybody in the penthouse at all? There was a note in one of the articles that said maybe this can help her. Those records definitely belong to whoever Ramsey's keeping in the penthouse. Oh. Hello there. Okay. We'll roll. How are you feeling this afternoon? I, I don't think you should let some nosy lady jaw freaked out. I'm not freaked out. Yeah, you kind of are. We were totally going to give Sam that popcorn. We'll, we'll just we'll go to the store and buy him what he needs to eat. And what is that? Well, I don't know. Your mom didn't tell you what he eats? Do you expect my mom to tell us everything of what to do when our baby comes? Well, maybe for a while until we get a hang of it. Sorry, come on. I'm scared, okay? I know. No, you don't know. Do you have any idea what labor pain is supposed to feel like? It's supposed to feel like you're stretching your lip over your forehead. Mm. Yeah, awful. And then they say that the best thing for the baby is breastfeeding because of all the natural immunities and everything. But that means that the baby would have to be with me 24-7 when it first comes in. I mean, I know you say that you and I will be in this together, but really, I'm going to be all alone, okay? It's going to be all on me. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I don't... I don't mean to be such a downer. It's just that one of us has to be realistic. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'll cut it. I don't need any money. Yeah, right here, just keep the change. Okay. I can't do much at the beginning, but I'll be there. Okay, I'll never let you down, I promise. Okay, let's just, um, let's just go to the park, okay? Come on, Sam, we're gonna have fun. I hope I haven't lost you as a friend forever. Mm, it did hurt when you said some of those things that weren't so nice. I'm so sorry. That wasn't the real me talking. Oh, I know. I know that. The real you put everything, everything on the line so that Todd did not take Tommy away from me. And I know that Gigi helped you too when you were on the run. Yeah, but, I mean, you're both important to me. You both mean so much to me. Still, you forgive me. I'm here for you. I'm here for you if you ever need me. You know that. Oh, I don't want to go. Stay. I can't stay. I can't. Rex is so hurt and angry. And everything with Charlie. I don't. I don't know what you mean. Charlie is not Rex's father. Roxy just made it up, and Charlie went along with it. Why? I don't know. But Rex is freaked out, and... when he looks at me, he just sees another person who lied to him. If I stay, he'll divorce me, I know it. If you go? Maybe he'll remember what used to be great about us. Unless, while I'm gone, Falls in love with Gigi. I think Shane Marasco has a really nice ring to it. But all the other kids I know have their dad's lessons. Well, they probably grow up a little bit differently. Some of them have single moms, too. Uh, you know what, buddy? You've spent your whole life with just your mom. She's done everything for you. I don't know anything about any of these other kids, but from what I can tell, you're a Marasco through and through. You should be proud to have her name. I guess. You guess? <laughs> yeah, I am proud. But one day, I want at least part of my name to be the same as my dad's. Want to play one-on-one? -on -one? You think you can take me? Step on the court and find out. <laughs> You're on. You can go, Mom. 
go where? It's called one on one. It's okay. You deserve a break. I, you know, I like to stay with Shane. Um, <clears throat> the last time I left you alone with my kid, I found him knocking back a cold one. I won't offer him anything worse than a corn dog. I promise. Seriously, I learned my lesson. Come on, Dad. Okay, just have him back by five. You got it. Why'd you cook up this lie? I mean, I know Roxy's pathological, but I thought you were one of the good guys. He is. He saved your face when Todd tried to saute it. Yeah, my hero. I never meant to hurt you, Rex. So why did you do this? You needed a son, but the real one was busy faking it with the Buchanans? I made a mistake. You told Vicky Buchanan that you had a son, so you had to come up with one. You were protecting Jared. I know how it's... The going. sick piece of garbage pretending to be Natalie's uncle while he's banging her on the side. Rex, the Rex, guy who no. kills Jessica's husband leaves a little girl without a father. That's who this was all about, wasn't it? No. He's the cash cow. You became a balsam so he could stay a Buchanan. What was your cut? I never got a penny. Oh. I was just for Junior. Was it? I gotta hand it to you. I... I bought into the whole, wish I'd been around there when you were a kid act. I didn't even bother for a DNA test. Why would I? I mean, who would drop out of the sky and claim me as a son? Rex, it's not his fault. You, you just tell me one thing. How did it feel? When I told you personal stuff. How did it feel when I called you dad? I felt ashamed, but I also felt proud. Help me. She said help me. Maybe she's in trouble. We should... Oh, you dropped me. Make sure. Now you're feeling better. Good call. Maybe she's okay. You're getting stronger every day. Finding your voice, putting words together. Pretty soon you'll be able to get out of bed, move around. I know there's a lot of people who want to see you. Come on, give us a name. Earl Gray or Amos Breakfast. Earl Gray. Hello, Commissioner Ramsey. Ambassador Jonas Chamberlain here. What can I do for you, Mr. Ambassador? The Crown Princess of Mandora is on a flight, and she'll be here in Landview shortly. Needless to say, she is very upset about the loss of the jewels. Has your department made any progress in recovering them? Well, LPD is doing everything possible to return the jewels to your country. Now, the officer responsible, the name of Saeed, has been fired. She'll never so much as write a parking ticket again. <laughs> this case is top priority. A lot of boots on the ground. Well, they better find them fast. Those jewels are national treasure. If they were ever broken up for sale, it would be a tragedy. Find them. Sorry. Would you like some toast? Ramsey's lying through his teeth. I wonder how much lighting upstairs does know what he's about to. I know you're feeling trapped here. You gotta get strong. A lot of people out there want you to get strong. Only the strong survive out here. <laughs> now, as cool as he is, I'm kind of looking forward to going out without a bodyguard following us around. I'm kind of getting used to Sean, though. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's what worries me. I know. So, have you thought about when and how you're going to tell your dad that we're pregnant? I'm pregnant, not you. Right. I don't know why I said that. I, mean, I, I hear the guys on the television say... <laughs> no, it's cool fine. Show. I'm sorry. I've just been being a... Um, a B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> You know, I want ice cream. 
That's what I want. Ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what flavor? Okay, no, no, no. It's okay. I'll go get it. Okay. You stay right. here. Hey, bud. Hey, you're cold. Hey, bud. I'll be right back. Hey, uh, mint chocolate chip for me, for, for Sam. For Sam, you'll, you'll share with me, right? Let's, we'll get like a Yo, Don Hart, we got a pickup game going. Could use it as point. Uh, yeah, may, uh, maybe next time. Oh, snap. Don Hart likes playing house more than ball. He, he just said, oh, snap. Do me a favor, do not grow up to be like that guy, okay? Yeah, okay. Hey, change your diaper for us. Yeah, <laughs> I will. Give you a nice stinky one. God, these guys, where do they come from? Do you believe it? They did not have any ice cream. Isn't that insane? Dude. And look, if you want, you can you can go play ball with them. No ice cream? What's up with that? No, no really. I'm you fine. Can go I'm play fine. With I'm them. okay. I'm good here. Are you sure? Because once the baby's born, we're not going to have a lot of time to go and hang out with friends. I'll we'll just have to work up a sweat chasing our kid around. <laughs> you know what next Sunday is? Uh, Friday the 13th? Dad. <laughs> I don't know, you got me. It's Father's Day. Oh. Did you ever think about me on Father's Day? Shame. I... Ta, you don't have time to think about a kid when you're a covert ops. You have to be, like, always ready, right? Right. I'm ready for anything. I thought about you. Really? I was always in church on Father's Day. So I pray that you're okay wherever you were. I'm in heaven. But this Father's Day, I'll be with my dad. It's like my prayers got answered. What if my being gone pushes Gigi and Rex together? I mean, she already said that she's in love with him. Rex loves you. He does. You have to remember that you are taking this time off for a reason. I'm going to fight for him, Mercy. I want to be Rex's wife forever. I'll do whatever I have to to make that happen. Hi! Hi. You're not doing something next Sunday, are you? Uh... Well, there is that board meeting with all my shareholders. Shut up. And I'll have to have Barbara rearrange my whole Shut schedule. up! <laughs> all right, all right. What's on your mind? The community center is supposed to have a special Father's Day field day. I'm going to sign us up for all the events. We're going to kick some... Uh, no swearing, soldier. Sorry, sir. Accepted. So, you're going to come? I don't know, Shane. I don't, I don't know if your mom's going to want me to do that. Why not? You're my dad, aren't you? Yeah. So why wouldn't you do it? No reason. Sure, go ahead. Sign us up. Hmm? I'm sorry. I will come back later. I was just leaving. The car is waiting downstairs to take me to the airport, so... Adriana, did you tell Rex? No. I came clean about my own lies. You'll have to take care of your own. Or not. <clears throat> Don't you get in here. Come on. You know you're always welcome. I was just in the neighborhood, so I thought... Hello? Pat, get in here. You know you're always welcome. Um... What was up with that dramatic goodbye? Well, uh, uh, Adriana's leaving town. I know, on the honeymoon. No, she's leaving. <laughs> leaving, and I don't know when she's coming back. Oh, so you mean she and Rex are moving away? No, just Adriana. Oh. Oh, my God, I... I... I was scared to death that she was going to tell Rex that Shane is his son. She knows? Yeah, uh, this whole situation is getting more and more complicated. Uh, well, 
Rex knows that you love him. Maybe he's free to love you now. You were proud. Yeah. What? You. Hey, what I did was wrong, but I will never forget having the chance to get to know you and see what a fine young man you are. And especially since your real son is such a lying bastard. He deserves that. And so do I, but I just want you to know. I feel honored that you would even want me as... His fake dad. It's a blast. It's a real laugh, right? What was your excuse? The skies parted and Charlie magically appeared right around the time that I was asking about my father's family. I don't understand. You're going a little fast for me. Okay, let me, let me slow it down for you. I was getting close, wasn't I? To what? Whatever you were hiding in that porcupine in the hotel. In that dirty old thing? Okay, well, if it wasn't the name of this drunk ass, who was it? I played the tenth. Damn it! Roxy, in this whole mess, there's one thing that you've told me that is the truth. Walter Balsam wasn't my father. So who the hell was? Can't tell Rex the truth about Shane now. Oh, now? You're not going to tell him. My son has been bonding with Brody ever since he got here. He idolizes the man. Every other word out of his mouth is my dad. So you don't think that he can possibly love Rex the same way? Not after years of thinking his dad was G.I. Joe. What about your happiness? I'm happy with Shane. Look, I don't want to talk about this. I came over to see how you are doing, and by the looks of it, pretty darn good. <clears throat> yeah, well, <laughs> Michael and I, we, uh... Oh, yeah, because just, you know, things are good, and, well, I was also thinking that if I could find the courage somehow, I might head down to the hospital and apply to volunteer with the kids. Are you sure you can handle that? Well, I'm not going to kid myself. I know that it won't be easy working with other people's kids when I have this hole in my heart that Todd put there when he took Tommy away from me and renamed him Sam. You're really lucky to have such a great mom. Yeah, she's awesome. I can't believe she could be so cool to the guy that got her daughter pregnant. Okay, wait. Stop saying it like that. You didn't get me pregnant, okay? We got me pregnant together. It's not like it was just you. It's not like I was sleeping and you just, like, put a baby in me or something. It's just disgusting. What? <laughs> What? Okay, I know that you're mad and this is kind of a serious situation, but that was that was kind of funny. Okay, I'm not mad. I'm just cranky all the time for no reason. You have a reason. I'm sure this is not what you thought your life would turn out to be like. Well, you either, but you're never cranky. I don't understand how you put up with me. Because I love you. That's how. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you see that? No. Uh, what are you taking a nap? No. What? I've just been thinking about what my mom would think about us having a baby. And? She'd be pissed. To add first, disappointed that see, I didn't exercise better judgment. But eventually, eventually she, she would be happy. You really miss her, don't you? Yeah, I do. Ah, never mind. No, what? Tell me. Well, I mean, I don't want you to think that I'm some nut job that is into I like those Ouija boards and mediums and stuff. But sometimes it, sometimes it's like I, I, I can feel her, like that, that she's with me. Yeah, no, I totally get that. I felt the same way about my dad right before prom. All right, when you were uh, stranded in the rain. Yeah, I totally thought that my dad was, like, there, or, or I could just feel his presence and he was talking to me, but when really he was, like, half alive, and... I mean, he did eventually come back, so... Was... Well, no, I didn't mean that... Uh, it's, it's okay. It's 
it's okay. It's, I know that my mom's not coming back. But I have been thinking, and if it's all right with you, if our baby's a girl, I would like to name that my mom. Now, we need to start thinking about your reintroduction to society. I know the good people of Landview will be surprised to see you. You know, I think the person most surprised... Excuse me. Be, huh? I'm just checking to see if you need anything. Oh, no, we're, we're fine. Thank you. Oh, here, let me get this tray for you. Oh! oh. You're not going to tell me who my father is, are you? Do you know? Oh, forget it. Anything that comes out of your mouth is going to be a lie. It's just like everything else. Bo has been more of a father to me than you ever could. And you, you're not my mother, not anymore. I am your mother and I'll always be your mother. You know, don't call. Don't come around. If I see you on the street, I'm crossing the other side. Rex, you don't mean that. I never want to see either one of you again. Me, that you don't know who his father is. Doesn't matter. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You, you do know. Poor kid is suffering. Believe me, he's going to suffer a lot more if he knows the truth. He was going to say something. Could be hours before he's in range again. Hey, look, you know, there's no point in all three of us been holed up in here. You sure? Yeah. You know, we know where Ramsey is for once, and he's not looking around. Might as well make the most of it, right? Just be careful. I'll call us if anything happens. Oh, yeah. well. <clears throat> Leave the picture right here, where you can see it. Wait, you want to name the baby Marty? Yeah, well, her real name is Martha. That's a good name, right? Yeah. Like, guess so. Oh, hey. Hey. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, enjoy it. Thanks. Bye. Look, what's, what's wrong with you? What do you think you're wrong with him? Get a bagel or something. Maybe he's hungry. Wow, okay. Well, you're not hungry at all. Here, look. What's the thing? Why isn't he eating anything? What am I supposed to do? You're not hungry at all. Marcy, please. We need your help here. Help me. 
Tina. 